In the 6th century BCE, the Pas-de-Calais region was inhabited by Gaulish tribes, part of the broader Celtic world. These early Gauls were associated with the Hallstatt culture, known for its iron tools, chariots, and hill forts. The ancestors of later tribes like the Morini and Atrobates likely lived here, thriving through farming, metalworking, and long-distance trade, including trade links to Britain. They spoke a Celtic language and practiced polytheistic religions, worshipping nature gods and tribal deities. This was a time before Roman contact, when the Gauls of northern France formed complex societies rooted in Celtic tradition. For this video, I've analyzed the raw genome of a 6th century woman from Pas de Calais in France. I simulated her G25 using the Eurogenes K36 calculator. She ended up closest to modern Germans and Belgians, as well as being fairly close to French from Brittany and Pas de Calais. In Capadam, I modeled her as a mixture of Annettis culture and French bell beakers. She seems to have strong affinities to the Annettis culture, as do all Celtic peoples. Going a little further back in time, to the Bronze Age, she has very strong steppe influence, with over half of her ancestry deriving from steppe peoples. A significant part of her ancestry derives from Western hunter-gatherers, and around 30% of her ancestry derives from the farmers. This, of course, doesn't include the farmer ancestry present in steppe. Going even further back, to the Mesolithic period, the dominant ancestral component in her is the Anatolian Neolithic farmer component. The second largest component is the Eastern hunter-gatherer component. Overall, she is clearly a Northern European. I ran a Neanderthal model on her, which determined that she carries almost 2% Neanderthal ancestry. This is within the typical range for Europeans. I also ran her through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Here is her predicted phenotype. She was predicted to have light brown eyes, darkest brown hair, white to olive skin tone, wavy hair, and snub nose shape. She was predicted to have lower odds of autism, higher odds of autoimmune disease, intermediate odds of obesity, slightly taller height, and likely blood type O or A. She carried rare risk variants for Hirschsprung disease. I also analyzed her genome using my GWAS health predictor tool. She scored particularly high for odds of major depressive disorder, bipolar disorder type 1, hypertension, otherwise known as high blood pressure, skin cancer, prostate cancer, coronary artery disease, and heart disease. She scored particularly low for odds of anxiety disorder, Alzheimer's, autism, spectrum disorder, asthma, and multiple sclerosis. You can purchase her raw DNA in 23andMe format from the link in the description where you will also find the links to my tools and services.